I have this new idea. I, I have this aha moment today, tonight, and uh, wherever y'all, whatever time zone, came up with this idea for this new rhyme, and it's about making dividends in the stock market, on the markets, in the markets, and got to get those pre- prepositional phrases down pat, homie. <laughs> so the rhyme man is about it's about hustling money legally as Twista says man legit balling it's about legit balling man and it's about it's about capitalism and making big bank and it's about how suckers they think they know some shit about the money markets and stuff and they talk about how they're big ballers and how they sell kilograms of cocaine out of their fucking Toyotas in front of the police and shit and the rappers on TV at the same fucking time just telling fucking fantasy stories but that's cool that's Hollywood cops and robbers TV shows Hawaii Five-0 you know what I'm saying chips niggas is doing the same thing nowadays with cops and robbers shows telling you that they're selling kilograms in front of the police and they're untouchable in terms of how they're fucking Tony Montana and all this kind of shit these stories that these rappers fucking be selling some of these rappers, not all of them, but some of them, that's their whole thing. Is they want you to believe that they're doing that kind of shit. This is about making legit money, though. This is about, man, fuck all that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? If you hustled back in the 80s and 90s, man, sold a little weed on the side, it's kind of interesting, man. Because if you were selling... <laughs> if you were selling weed back in the 1980s, 90s, maybe 70s, before that even, you know what I'm saying? If you were selling weed back in the day, it's kind of fucking interesting that the shit is legal now on the stock markets, bioceuticals. And it's fucking really interesting how in modern times, it's like a brave new world. It's like brave new world, man. All this Huxley, homie. All this Huxley. It's, it's like this shit in the past where when we were in junior high school, high school, going into high school, and niggas on the West Coast was trying to dodge the police because they had like a little like half gram or a gram or a 20 twin twamp little fucking 20, 20 piece of weed, which is ridiculous because I'm going to tell you about that. Niggas used to sell, used to serve eights okay so you'd have an eight and it was a proper true eight four you feel me four fucking real legit grams weighed out on a triple bean scale can you fucking imagine that shit from uh from antiquity homie this shit is from antiquity dog i'm talking ancient sumerian textbooks nigga this shit is fucking anunnaki dog just crazy crazy bonkers bananas nigga so niggas would straight break out with the fucking triple beam analog scale and take some weight up fucking buds or some freight up hay or however it looked somewhere in between some purple derple yerple zerple and they would throw that shit on the scale and you would sit there and you'd weigh it up naturally later there were the fucking the digital scales that are in use now and what usurped that for niggas who study dictionary diction and whatnot for, <laughs> for niggas who study english the, the proper English on that is what usurped the street shit in terms of curbside serving. If you fo- follow me on the colloquial though, nowadays you gotta throw in the though because that's part of English vernacular now. You feel that? But yeah, for real though, fucking what usurped that and superseded that is and are the legal marijuana markets. Legal fucking marijuana. Bro, travel back to 1991 with me let's go 91 let's just go fucking to 1991 and yo i'm telling you dog in the future you will be able to fucking buy sell and trade stocks on the stock market marijuana stocks you would be like you are an insane man that's what you would tell me back then because back then, what I was hearing from even the gurus, the old schoolers, the old heads, cats who've been around since time immemorial, the old souls, right? What I was hearing from hippies, niggas who know some real spiritual metaphysical shit on some real levels of real cognition and cosmology out in the time space multiverses, right? The superverse universe, multiverse. They were saying that the reason why marijuana, and this was, this was what they were saying, this was the consensus, more or less, was that the reason why marijuana wasn't legal at that time, those times, was that the government couldn't tax it, didn't know how to tax it. It was trying to figure out how to tax and how to regulate it. But, alas, not one nigga said, yo, even if the government could tax it, right, and figure out a way to put a fucking a tax on the 2020 up, yeah, then it would be legally traded on the stock markets. No one fucking said that shit. No, no one said that shit. Flash forward. Now, marijuana is legit on the stock markets dog and i am an investor in such 
I've invested in legal weed stocks for show, homie. A hundred fucking percent. And man, you know, it's just, it's so wild. It's surreal thinking back that if you was dodging the fucking police, the fuzz, dog. If you was dodging the fuzz, 5-0, okay? The, the, the one times. If you if you was dodging the fucking popos out on the block on some cloak and dagger, spy versus spy, street shit. Bro, would you have ever thought one day what you were doing be totally legal, though? Which it is now if people invest online in the stocks that are legal marijuana stocks. Wow. Let's let's take a moment to just kind of reflect. Amen, brethren. This this is really truly a new world. So, that said, I got this new rap, man. That was the uh, the prelude. I've got this new rap concept as I as I alluded to and it started off this bar, a couple of bars that came to mind. Hustle game, mutual funds, get your money up. <laughs> Something like that.